The moon may soon get some new visitors. Just after midnight tonight, a SpaceX rocket is due to lift off, carrying a pair of commercial landers that will try to touch down in the coming months. One was built by a Japanese company and the other by a Texas company. Mark Strassman was among the last to see the U.S. lander up close and personal before it was shipped off for launch. For example, when we launched, All right, go Thanks. ahead. Yeah. Well, Inside what's called the clean room, Ray Allensworth showed us this lunar lander. Her team has spent the last three years designing and building it. Six feet tall, 11 feet wide, with four landing legs hoping to touch lunar dust. This is what's going to the moon. Allensworth is the spacecraft program director at Firefly Aerospace. Good to send. Sending command. Firefly, based outside Austin, is a small space company with a big space dream. It's been basically the only thing we think about morning, noon, night. This really is a building largely of 20-somethings, yeah. creating the next generation of space. I think that's one thing that, that makes us really different is they've been told no so many times in their career, so they don't know what, what can't be done. The Blue Ghost Lander was named after a species of firefly. It will embark on a 45-day journey to the moon. Its mission? Carefully lower to the lunar surface and deliver 10 payloads for NASA. So if we kind of look down, you see over there, you see that, that spout kind of coming down? I do. So that's the drill, and it will deploy down and go into the lunar surface. This drill will try to penetrate nine feet below the surface to measure temperature. Another experiment will vacuum up loose lunar rock and dust. Our payloads are collecting data so we can figure out what does it feel like to, to be on the lunar surface, to operate on the lunar surface, so all that data will inform when we actually return humans to the moon. NASA is paying Firefly about $100 million for the mission, part of a new government effort to hire companies to fly experiments to the moon. Commercial tech is advancing at a very rapid pace. Jason Kim is Firefly's Amazing. CEO. And it's really bringing down the cost and affordability of systems that once took billions of dollars and countries behind it to land on the moon. But Firefly must prove it can get there at a fraction of the cost. And liftoff. Two of Firefly's rivals flew into trouble on their first flights last year. One company, Astrobotic, suffered a mission-ending failure of its propulsion system. The other, Intuitive Machines, touched down but tipped over on the lunar surface. It's extremely difficult to land on the moon. It's, it's extremely difficult to get something in orbit, you know, let alone landing on the moon. And so I think it's extremely humbling, but we really believe that this is going to be a success and we're doing everything we can to, to make it happen. Ten miles to go. No American-made spacecraft has landed intact and upright on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. What would a successful moon landing mean to Firefly as a company? I get a little emotional about this. Um, sorry. Oh. I think it's going to mean a lot to our people because they've worked so hard. Yeah. And to you, what will it mean? Well, to me, imagine this country hasn't been to the moon and successfully landing in 52 plus years, and then all of a sudden, Firefly lands on the moon for the nation. That's a big deal. Also, a big deal for this little can-do space company. For CBS Mornings, I'm Mark Strassman in Cedar Park, Texas.